If you have videos here on your iPad or iPhone and you'd like to extract the audio and save it as an audio file, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Let's go. So what I'm going to show you how to do is take any video file from your Photos app or your Files app, encode the audio and save it as an audio file. It's super simple to do, let's dive in. Step one, you need an app from Apple called Shortcuts. If we swipe down and type in the word Shortcuts, if you can see this icon here, you've got it, tap it and open it. If you don't, swipe down again and this time type in App and go to the App Store, tap on Search, and in the search box, type in shortcuts. And the one you're looking for is this one here, shortcuts, do more with your apps. Hit the download button and then hit open. Step two is to make sure you have the files app. So once again, swipe down, type in files. If you have it, tap it to open the files app. Once again, if you don't have it, swipe down and type in app, go to the app store. And this time you wanna search for files. And this is the free files app from Apple, download it and then hit open. And you'll see here that under my iCloud Drive folder, I have this folder called Audio Converted. Let's show you how I created that. First, you need to choose where you want to save it. Now you can save it on my iPad or on my iPhone, but this won't back up to the cloud. So if you have room on your iCloud Drive, I suggest you choose that one. And then all we need to do is in the top here, tap on this button to create a new folder and give it a name. Like I said, I like to call it Audio Brackets Converted. And we're all set. We have the two apps we need to convert this video to audio. Now it's time to set up our shortcut. We're going to open the Shortcuts app and at the very top here, you'll notice a plus button, let's tap on plus. To rename our shortcut, let's tap right here where it says new shortcut and tap on rename. And you can call this whatever you like. We're gonna call it convert video to audio. Next, over here on the right, we need to tap on this eye icon here and enable this option. This will make sure that this shortcut is shown in our share sheet. That's a lot of shushes, but this will ensure that anywhere we are within iOS or iPadOS, every time you hit that share button, this shortcut is going to pop up. Oh, and if you're on an iPhone, this process is exactly the same. However, that I button is right down the bottom. Your layout's a little bit different. So just look at the bottom of your screen and find the I button down there. Next, we need to tell the shortcut what it's looking for, what it can receive. So here where it says images and 18 more, let's tap right on that blue text and we're gonna hit the clear button to clear all of them. And now we just want this to accept media. So just our video files. So we select media and hit done. And because we've added that show in share sheet, it's going to immediately assume that this input is coming from our share sheet. Now we need to add the actions to this shortcut that are actually going to do the file conversion. So to do that, we tap on this button next to the I and here in the actions, we're going to type in the word encode. And from the list, we want this one, encode media. Let's tap that. And back over on the left, let's set all these options by tapping on this right arrow. Now, because we wanna go from video to audio, we're going to select this one, the audio only button. And then we select the format, either M4A, which is Apple's compressed format, or AIFF. I go for AIFF, it's an uncompressed audio format. It's gonna get you the best quality audio from your video. Now there are a bunch of other options that you can change in there as well as the metadata here that you can change. You can play around with that in your own time. But if you just want a basic audio file from your video file, this is all we need to do in the encoding settings. Now there's one more thing we need this shortcut to do and that's to save our file. So what I'm gonna do is hit cancel there and this time I'm going to type in save, S-A-V-E and tap on this one, save file. And once again, we can hit the arrow here if you wanna change the options here, but I like to always ask where to save so that I can save it right in that converted folder or maybe I wanna use it in my GarageBand projects so I wanna send it straight to my GarageBand file transfer folder. And we are done. So to finish, all we need to do is tap on the shortcuts button in the top left, and there it is, our brand new convert video to audio shortcut is ready to use. Let's put it to the test. I'm gonna go here into my photos and choose a video I'd like to extract the audio from. Let's use this recent video I made about the new sound pack in GarageBand. In order to convert this video to audio, all we need to do is tap on the video, and then at the bottom here, tap on the share button. And here is where you'd usually share it via message or email or airdrop or whatever you like. But if we scroll on down, you'll notice that we've got some new options here, including our brand new shortcut, Convert Video to Audio. Let's tap on that one. 
It's going to prepare the video file and now it's asking us where we would like to save it. So I'm going to go to iCloud Drive, select my converted audio folder and it's a bit weird. You don't hit save, you hit open. But if we hit open, it's going to save that file as an audio file in our files app. Let's take a look at it. We're going to swipe up and go to our files app. You can see now that audio converted has one item. Let's tap and there it is. My GarageBand pack video has been converted to a high quality audio file that I can now use anywhere I like. Let's tap on it and make sure it worked. Yes, we have a brand new sound pack here in GarageBand, which I'm sure is full. Sounds good. Now, what if instead of being in your photos app, your file is out here in your files app? Well, no problem. All we need to do is navigate to the file, tap and hold this time and hit the share button. And you'll see we have the same options here. We just scroll down, find convert video to audio and tap. And there you have it. Simple as that. We're already here in the right folder. Hit open. And you can see in real time there, it's updated that folder. We've now got that as an audio file here in our folder. One of the coolest things we can do with the video to audio conversion is use the screen recorder to extract the audio from anything that we may be able to play on our iPhone or iPad screens. Now, before I show you this, a quick warning. Yes, please only use videos and audio that you have licensing or have the rights to use. If you use copyrighted or commercial content, you're doing so at your own risk. So what I've done is I've screen recorded my iPhone, as you can see here, playing a clip from my song Imagination on YouTube. And you can do exactly the same thing. I don't mind. You're free to use my songs and remix them and sample them if you like. Now, all I need to do is the same process as before and hit share. Oh, and if you've never screen recorded before, here's a quick guide to that. All you need to do is on your iPad, swipe from the top right, tap and hold on this record button, make sure the microphone is not selected and hit start recording. When you're done, hit stop recording and that is saved as a video file right there in your photos. If you're on an older device, you may need to swipe from the bottom instead of the top right. And now once again, we're ready to come down here to our shortcuts and tap on convert video to audio. And just like that, we're back here in our folder. We can hit the open button, wipe up and go back to our files. And there it is. Now, there are a heap of practical reasons why you'd want to convert your video files to audio files. One that I know many folks use is to import them into GarageBand. To do that, let's swipe down and type in GarageBand and open up our GarageBand app. We'll tap here to create a new song, scroll across and tap on audio recorder and tap on our tracks view. Now to import one of our converted video to audio files, we tap here on the loops icon in the top right, then tap on the files tab. And down here, you'll see this one, browse items from the files app. Let's tap that, navigate to our iCloud drive and that folder that we created earlier, tap on the file we want to import, and like magic, there it is, the AIFF audio file. Now, because this is a GarageBand compatible file, all we now need to do is tap and hold and drag and then drop it here into our GarageBand project. And there you go. There is our audio there ready to play around with. I hope you found this one useful. If you'd like to learn a heap more about creating, recording and releasing your best music on your iPhone and your iPad, check out all the other videos linked in the description and I'll see you next time.